Hey, my name is Autumn Schrock. I'm a travel astro and landscape photographer currently based in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a member of the Sony Alpha Ibingen Collective and today I am super stoked to talk to you about astrophotography and the gear that I use when I shoot astro. Astrophotography is so magical. Just being out under the stars, looking at your own galaxy is just mind-blowing and it makes me so happy. As a night owl, I'm just sort of naturally inclined to also like to be out at night, but there's just something so peaceful, like the world calms down. It's just you and the stars. First things first, I have my Sony Alpha 1 as my body. This is the camera that I use basically for everything, but it's incredible for low light as well. If you're new to astrophotography, one piece of advice that I would give is to be very familiar with your camera. Play around with it at home first. Make sure you know how to adjust all of your settings, um, your aperture, everything like that, before you go out and try to do everything at night, because it's very difficult to do in the dark. A few of the settings that I choose for astrophotography on my Sony Alpha 1 are the self-timer. I usually set a two-second delay because even just the motion of pressing the shutter can give you a blurry image. Another setting that I love to choose on my camera is to turn my monitor brightness down. I usually have it on sunny weather during the day because it's very bright out, but once night comes around, I need to lower it a little bit to help save my, my night vision. This is the Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master lens, and I think this is my favorite astro lens. Um, it's amazingly sharp, all in the corners and in the center. Wide open at 1.8, it's amazing. I usually use this for wider vistas or if I'm really close to an object, like my foreground, and I want to show a lot of it, I'll use the 14, which is very wide. I also love the Sony 20mm f1.8 G lens. This is my second go-to astro lens. It's incredibly sharp also. And I use this one if I'm a little bit further away and I need to get a little bit closer, but not too close to my subject. So this one, again, is incredible as well. When I go out for astrophotography, I try to get the best bang for my buck, so I also always try to get sunset as well. So with that, I'll bring my Sony 100-400mm G Master lens, as well as my 24-70 f2.8 G Master Mark II lens. It's amazing for when I'm out for sunset. Um, it's incredibly versatile focal length, and the f2.8 aperture allows me to shoot low light as the, the stars are starting to come out. As a small female photographer, going out by myself for astrophotography at first was very intimidating. So now I'm a little bit more comfortable, just a little more seasoned, but also I make sure that I scope the area out first in the daytime before I go. I'm familiar with all the wildlife. I also carry a GPS satellite communicator with me in case anything happens. So there are things that I have to take into consideration before going out alone, but I do go out alone. I always bring my trusty headlamp because I have forgotten one of these before and when you're out shooting astro this can be really dangerous to not have a light find your way back so always pack a headlamp no matter where I'm going outside I always make sure to have a little first aid kit with me you never know what's gonna happen so it's better to be safe and prepared I love these little um, microfiber cloths that you can just clip to your backpack straps easy access if you know you need to you get a smudge on your lens and you need to clean it really easily these are really handy I also bring an air blower with me. I live in Utah, which is the desert. It's very dusty, so I often get sensor spots. This little guy helps me to clean them out in the field. Tripod is super important for astrophotography. I use the Colorado Tripod Company Centennial 2 Series. It's carbon fiber, but it's sturdy enough to withstand astro when you're using long exposures and you have to have your camera stable for a long period of time. I love some creature comforts when I'm out in the field, so I'll bring a little Z seat with me. It's really nice for when you're on some rocky terrain, but you're gonna be sitting out there for a while waiting for the stars and the Milky Way to line up, so it weighs like two ounces. It's very much worth it. I run cold, so I always bring gloves with me. Even if it's in the summer, it can get really chilly at night, especially in the mountains, so gloves and a beanie are always in my bag as well. Sunglasses for sunset. 
Uh, I love these because they pack up super flat. There aren't any arms or anything on them, which is really convenient for throwing them into your bag. I also use the Peak Design Capture Clip, which is really convenient if you're an outdoor photographer. If something exciting happens, an animal comes out or something, you don't have to worry about getting into your backpack to get your camera out. It's just right there on your shoulder, ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. You can find me around the web on all the social media platforms as Pops or at autumnschrock.com. Be sure to tune in to the Alpha Universe YouTube channel for all things astro and photography, as well as the alphauniverse.com website.